this is my tutorial to explain how I'm making the pockets for my kites. Um, so I'm, I'm going to start with um, a piece of fabric that is um, 10 by 12 centimeters long, and I'm sewing it so it looks like this um, with a sewing machine. Now, the trick is to start by folding it. So I'm folding it into four sections by folding it in half like that. And then I'm going to fold it again in half. So I've got basically it looped in the middle. Um, from there, this can get quite fidgety, so it takes a few moments. Um, but from there, I'm going to flatten it out, fold down a bit of the top, like that. See, so it's folded down. And then I'm going to fold that over one more time. Um, so it's basically about halfway, if not a little bit more, um, down my fabric. See, so you'll have something like this. Now, when I put into the sewing machine, I want to make sure that it's, it's really flat and that there aren't any bits sort of peeking out the edges. The bottom doesn't matter because it's going to get cut off, so if it's a bit uneven there, it's okay. Um, but then I, after sort of folding it down, take it in, put it underneath my needle and just clap down the foot. I found that really helps to sort of stabilize it. Um, it's a really good why I mean you can put the needle actually quite hard to punch through about five layers of fabric so it will just jam if you don't um, put the foot down first. Um, so I'm gonna sew down this first side. I didn't mention this but I've got the, uh, the folded bit at the top and this is just the loose end here. I'm gonna sew um, first forwards. Um, because it's so small I'll s normally start with a back stitch because it's so small um, and the fabric's quite heavy, and sewing um, forward first, then back, then forward again, it seems to work quite well. So I'll do the first line. It's forward, back, and that's forward, down to the edge. Now I'm going to want to lift up the foot and spin it to do the next direction. Make sure to put the foot back down before you sew again, or it will jam. Um, and then go across this edge, stopping right before the end. If you do go over the end, just back the needle up a bit. Make sure you don't turn the foot, release the foot until the, ball, the um, needle is flat down on the fabric. Put the foot back in again. And then just so carefully. I find that when you're sewing this way, um, the flap to away from you, um, it can catch. So you might need to release the foot to smooth it down first before you continue. But just sew to the end. You get right near the end to finish. And that's, um, see, finished pocket. And uh, this is one of the 148, so it's quite a long process.